Good shot, Dave. Got that. There it is. Oh, did you get that on video? I did. Really? Uh -huh. God, good shot. Right there. <laughs> the old man's gonna take down a dub right here. We're sneaking up on it. Shooting some bitch. There, Eurasian. Still filming, man. <laughs> it's already a challenge just trying to get it on footage, let alone trying to hit them, you know? It's freaking tough. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice shot. They're actually Eurasians. You can see that it's white. These are called Eurasian doves. There's no limit on them. We can shoot as many of these as we want, and they taste pretty good, so. Good shot. I don't think I got that on my GoPro though. So it sucks having this GoPro on here, man. It kind of keep hitting with my arm. There's a good shot right there. Another one in the bag right there. So we're after going to the Shot. They're raging, guys. Nice shot. One by one. It's a struggle. Gotta go around and shoot them one at a time, but you're getting after them. Alright, now we're gonna show you guys how to gut these doves in case y'all don't know how to gut a dove. It's your first time ever out hunting. So all you have to do is just break the wing, pull it off, break the wing again, pull it off, and you just there's a little you can feel the bone where the breast is. The bottom of the breast, just stick your thumb in there. Pull out just like that and just pull the back off. Just like that. So that's the rest of the bird, that's the breast. And you just pull the skin right off of it like that. Get the feathers off. Make sure you get all the feathers out of there. So like that. When you're done, you should have a whole bunch of blood on the side of your pants, getting all the feathers. It's very important to get all them feathers out of there. <clears throat> All right, just like
just like that guys put it in the cooler and keep on trucking along okay me and my old man are gonna have a dove gutting contest he thinks he's faster than me so well, these Eurasian doves it take you a lot longer to uh, get out than a normal dove because they're a little bit bigger they're tougher. a little bit tougher breaking their wings is pretty tough yeah all right hey, and the rule is any fed they can't be no feathers on the press any feathers that's disqualified so, all right ready go Yeah. Oh, he beat me, guys. He is the fastest dove cleaner. Right. Fastest yeah, done, man. fastest dove cleaner on this side of the Mississippi, right here. That's right. <laughs> Don't you ever forget it. I'll catch up to him one day. I just got to shoot about ten thousand more doves. That's I'll right. Up. <laughs> I've only been shooting them since I was twelve. Yeah, he's got some years on me, but I'll catch up. Yeah, raisins are a little bit tougher, guys. If you guys shoot a raisin, they're a little bit tougher to get. All right. All right, we'll see you when we get to the house and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we are back at the kitchen. We've got our dove breast right here. So we're gonna do a smoke. I've never, I've never done this before. So we're just gonna smoke the whole breast right there on the smoker. We're gonna try it. I'm just gonna dedicate two dove breasts to try it. We'll find out if it works good or not. I think it'll taste pretty good, but I think it'll taste pretty good, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna get seasoned, salt and pepper. So first pepper, and then we'll do some salt. And then we're just gonna use some sweet rub of mine. Nice little rub, soak up some good smoke. Flip them over. So we'll just put them on the smoker like that. I'm going to put them on the smoker for two hours. Then I'm going to pan sear it for the last, for, I don't know, I'm just going to put it on there for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds on each side just to kind of, I don't know, just kind of just bring together that smoky flavor and then pan sear it. I think it'll hold that flavor in a lot better. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'll let you guys know if this tastes good, if you want to try it for yourselves. But let's go put it on the smoker. I'm going to set that to low smoke. So low smoke, little heat, but a lot of smoke. So let's put this on in here. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to waste too much dove trying this just in case it warm. I mean, I imagine it's gonna taste good. Everything smoked tastes good, but you know, I don't wanna ruin a whole bunch of dove if this doesn't work out. So let's give her about two hours of smoke and then we'll put it on the pan sear it for a few minutes and it should be ready to eat and I'll let you guys know how this tastes. All right, guys, it's looking pretty juicy. Let's go put her on the fry pan for a couple minutes and let's see how she tastes. Can't wait. All right, so we got the hot pan going to some olive oil. Just gonna kind of just sear it for a minute. Yeah, not too long, excuse me, a few minutes. Looking pretty juicy. It's smelling pretty good, so it should it should be pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, looking pretty good. Just got that little blackened right there. Should taste pretty good. Let's give it a try, shall we? Mmm. Yeah, you can see those burnt lines. Mmm. The smoke lines. Mmm. That's good, guys. Wow. 
Very delicious. Woo! It's juicy, man. Look at all that juice coming out of there. Wow. It's juicy. Mm, wow. Mm, that's good, guys. Holy cow. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, this catch and cook dove hunting. It's probably going to be my last dove hunting video. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Till next year, it's sad. It comes and goes so dang fast. But anyway, duck cutting this weekend, opening weekend. So, I'm pretty excited about that. So, let's go get on some ducks. Hopefully, we can get some. I've never duck hunted before, but we'll see if we can get on some. So, anyway, stay tuned for that, guys. Anyway, peace out. Love you all. Stay safe out there.